Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm back with our message needed here right now. Let's hop right into it and find out what message your angels have for you today. From the jump, I am hearing that people are constantly shocked and surprised that you have a whole different side to you that they haven't seen yet. I even feel like this is people that you've known for a while. I always say this, but you guys are my light workers, you are my healers, and you're constantly changing and evolving. Not only that, sometimes you are surprised with the way you react at things because, again, you are people that follow your intuition. So if your intuition calls you to react in a different way, that's what you're going to do. And not only that, you are constantly on a state of self-improvement a lot of you guys out there actually are researching and studying ways to improve yourself so of course you're going to react differently or try to react in a way that's best for that situation and this pisses people off especially people who are trying to get a reaction from you or trying to one-up you or win over you at the end of the day you're really not playing those games which is moving intuitively so they're never going to win and I feel like there are times where people think you're going to react when you don't there are times when people don't expect you to say anything and then you step in and do and that makes people again very frustrated because they don't understand the game you're playing because you're not playing a game at all. I always tell you guys this too, you don't really think and operate in the ways that other people do. So sometimes it could be hard for you to believe that people are trying to one-up you or hurt you or outsmart you. So you guys are constantly just praying and just trying to be on the right path. And again, you're always going to be able to dodge plans that people have for you to one-up you or to even take you down. So just know that you have these other sides to you. So if you have certain moments in your life where you are called to speak up or you are called to react in a different way or even defend yourself, that's actually divinely orchestrated too. And I was saying this in one of the other messages, like sometimes there really is a time and place to stand up for yourself and fight back. I know a lot of you guys out there rather be passive, rather not involve yourself in that negativity and drama and not because you're afraid, it's because of the fact that that energy can really take a toll on you. And of course, you don't really want to get yourself involved in situations you'd rather walk away from. But sometimes people really need your energy to stand up for other people or even stand up for yourself. And I feel like that's something you may have done recently or you are going to continue to do moving forward. So you guys, I feel like it's even a bigger transformation where you're being called to speak out more or do something completely different than what you were doing in the past. So if you are feeling called to do that, don't be surprised if you start switching up the way that you react to certain things or the way you communicate. And I do feel like a lot of this has to do with your own self-improvement that you've been doing. A lot of you guys have been doing healing work and realizing some of the ways that you reacted to things that you felt was best in the past may not be the best way to react now. I also feel like a lot of you guys have worked and got yourself out of situations where you felt like you were repressed or couldn't speak your truth. So I do feel like you are going to put yourself in an environment where you could be more yourself. I also feel like you guys may see this shift happening just all around you. People are respecting you more and it's because you are carrying yourself in a different energy where it's like, yeah, I want to keep the peace. I'm, I want to lead. I want to do the best I can do. But at the same time, don't get in the way of what God brought me here to do. And you have that extra energy behind you because you know deep down that your intentions are good no matter what the situation is. But I definitely sense there's an energy here that is quite upset because they kind of pride themselves on being like super smart or someone who likes to, to be able to predict things. It could be because of their own ego. It can also be because trauma or whatever. But they want to be able to predict your next move and they never can. And even though this person may have some sort of attachment to you, it really bothers them that they can't control you or control the way that you respond to things. And that's another reason why this person may have a hard time having you in their life. This could be somebody that you had a relationship with, it could be someone that you are close to or a friend or even a business situation, work situation, where someone does want to be around you and they feel like you guys can benefit off each other. But at the same time, they're not running the show. They're not running the game here in terms of you. And that's something they really have to process and understand. I feel like this person has to do inner work to try to figure out why they are trying to have you react in certain ways instead of just letting you be yourself. And I do feel, again, that you have the power to expose people or end people if you really wanted to as well, but you never really used that power. But I feel like lately you guys could be speaking out or doing more and it's really starting to scare somebody here. I do feel that we just had this like super moon. Some of you guys can be really feeling charged up right now. Again, my readings are timeless. So if you do see this at a different time, I feel like something could have happened around that time period or just in general, you guys are one that when you are in a more emotional state, you tend to speak your truth more. Nothing wrong with that but I do sense that some of you guys out there are a bit like that you have periods of your of your life where you're really reserved and you're quiet and you just sit back and watch and then you have time periods where you are out there fighting the good fight and I feel like that is necessary sometimes especially for my light workers and my healers because you're not always going to be on supercharged mode all the time. You're going to be drained. You're going to be tired. You're going to be transforming. So again, you could have been on a low energy mode. You could have been on a charging your battery mode, you know, and all of a sudden you're popping out now and you're speaking out and you're doing your thing. So I do feel that, again, it's definitely shocking people and it makes people very uncomfortable that 
They don't know where your head is at. They don't know how you feel about them. There's one moment people think you don't like them and then you're kind to them. There's one moment where people think they are being kind to you and you are rude to them because you sense that they're something off about them or you, you heard something like you always find out exactly what you need to hear. That's another thing as well. I feel like, again, people think that you have some sort of gift where you just know everything. And I feel like, yeah, you do have a lot of discernment. And I do always say this, you guys really do have that gift. But a lot of times you guys are not impulsive. So you're going to wait till you get the information. You have the facts or someone comes to you and tells you something and you have the ability to kind of discern through what's gossip versus what's true. So I do feel, again, there are going to be time periods where people will come to you, bring you information, try to get you to have a reaction. You're like, I don't know if I believe that. I'm going to find it for myself. And there's going to be time periods where someone comes forth with a bit of information. You're like, that's exactly what I needed. That was the piece of my puzzle. That's exactly what I needed to make my next move. So I feel like, again, you had something that you really wanted to do, but you were waiting for the right timing and you waited for the right time and you outsmarted somebody that's what i'm hearing and again i do feel a lot of you guys this isn't even a strategic plan like this is something that just happens intuitively it happens impulsively when the timing is right because you don't really know how sometimes one little thing that you do can catapult a change in someone else's life i feel like you could have just said or did something at the right time that caused some kind of chain reaction or spoke your truth exactly at the right time so if you recently did defend yourself or speak up about something it was the right timing for that whether it was the right timing for that situation to resolve itself or that person to hear you whatever it is you are on the right path here but I do feel like this is a situation where you basically upset somebody or made someone super paranoid or confused because they just didn't predict you were going to react that way and they don't know what to do next especially revolving around the relationship with you so I'll look into that a little bit more but let's see what we have going on here um yeah it's gonna happen in the workplace i have this occupation card in the bottom of this deck and then we have this coffin card here too as well and i just did two patreon readings this week so you guys could check that out if you're interested really to support me and my channel and i was talking about in one of the piles that you know um i did an exclusive collective too if you guys want to check that out but also i did a reading about um what's coming next but anyway with the coffin card here um one of the piles is saying like the old you is not here anymore you know that's and that's exactly what's coming the same message that was coming through in that pile like the old you does not exist anymore like you successfully are transforming so it's almost like people that knew you in the past don't recognize you anymore and they don't know how to react to you so there has been a complete transformation that threw someone through a loop and it's like they still want to access to you but they don't know how and not only that i really feel like it wasn't like they could outsmart you in the past it wasn't really it was just like you were, I don't think you were doing this on purpose, but it was almost like you were meant to be in that environment in a way where that person maybe thought that they could predict what you were going to do or that they had control. But I really feel like it was almost just like you were just kind of waiting and seeing if this person would, what this person would do. Like I kind of feel like a situation where you had some, that, some kind of soul connection with somebody or you knew something was off about somebody, but you also felt called to it. So you sit back and you observed and then um, you were going through your own transformation. So maybe, again, it wasn't the right time to step in, to say something, to do something. I feel like it's also going to be like a relationship in your past where you may have um, engaged with this person when you weren't at your 100% or you weren't really too focused on them at the time. So you weren't like paying too much attention to what they were doing. But um, I also feel like, again, like I feel like this individual is used to people reacting certain ways to them and the way that you reacted it's like they kind of like have this calculation going on they're like okay if i do this they're either going to do a b or c but somehow you end up doing d and they didn't even think d was an option or a factor and they're shocked and yeah d could be an option and factor on how someone could react but they only assessed you being an a b or c person so i think we are dealing with someone who is a bit calculated maybe even more than they present or somebody that is extremely um yeah I feel like fearful so they always try to predict people's next move or they think they're really calculated and again no matter how much you read up or study people you're never gonna really completely understand the way people move you know but I do feel like um this person you may not understand they, the way that they move either um and again they are trying to be calculated but people are recognizing that you have transformed and it's like in order to transform you really got to sacrifice the old you sacrifice things in your life that you no longer want to deal with and even sacrifice relationships and i feel again a lot of people are very afraid to do that i also feel like when it comes to dating and relationships like you can have feelings for somebody but still be able to walk away from them and sometimes that's where the transformation happens when people see that you're not playing around that you will walk away if they do this or that and i feel like there's going to be times where a lot of people stay in situations because they love somebody but it ends up enabling them and i don't feel like you guys do that like even though you may 
love or care about somebody. You just decided one day to walk away. And I feel like that does really shock a lot of people. And I feel like a lot of people haven't seen that. But another reason is because you probably are praying, you're manifesting, you're talking to God. Like you get that extra strength. And one day you wake up in a different energy and you're like, okay, yeah, I could do this today. And in the past, it didn't seem possible. But even in the past, don't be mad at yourself because you were meant to go through that. You're meant to see certain things. And again, we're not meant to know everything. So don't beat yourself up if you felt like somebody did trick you or manipulate you. It caused this transformation. Or I do feel like, again, like the kind of imagery I'm getting is that you were kind of in like a hermit mode or a recharge mode or you weren't at your best or you, yeah, there's some situation going on where you weren't really in the um, right mindset or the right energy levels to really defend yourself or come after somebody or yeah, something like that. I do feel like someone could have tried to hit you while you were low or, you know, I'm really getting metaphor about death, but not literal death, like trying to bury you. Like they almost tried to like, um, you know, get you to just not talk or something like that or suppress a lot of your energy but it like maybe they thought that it, it worked and they got you exactly where they wanted you but it turned out you actually just transformed that's kind of what i'm seeing so some of you guys could be aware that you were playing somebody's game a little bit because you had no choice but to play it but you kind of kept your mouth shut until the right time so again that's kind of what i'm getting at there's a situation where maybe you had a problem with somebody and you had to go about it a certain way and get the fact with the evidence, be patient, not be impulsive. Because a lot of times, especially in relationships or situations with people who are narcissistic or toxic, they will try to get you upset, make you act out of character, and then make you look bad. And I feel like that's not something that you guys wanted here. And maybe they've done that in the past to you and you're like, okay, yeah, I've got to be more smart about this. So um, that's what I'm seeing. What else we have? We have Mars here. So I do feel like it's almost like you went from this the state of just like being completely like out of the picture to like to like this Mars energy just coming up out of nowhere. I feel like you guys could have come up out of nowhere just to defend yourself and disappear. Again, I'm getting some kind of like imagery here. It may not be exactly what happened, but I just feel again, this is just kind of the message that you are unpredictable in a way. It's like one moment somebody thinks they defeated you and the next moment you are back up and going and you're on attack mode. Like it's kind of like in the movies where like like a character dies and then, or it looks like they die in one scene and then in the next scene they're like, you're still alive. And they're like, yeah, I am. And I'm here to join the fight. And people are like, what the heck, you know? Like I feel like you have that type of energy. And it's like people don't expect it because again, you're not here trying to prove to people, oh, I'm smart. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do that. Oh, I'm the strongest person. I'm the smartest person in the room. Like you're not here trying, you're not wasting energy trying to prove yourself. You're just living. And it's like when it calls for you stand up and fight that's what you're going to do and you're going to do a great job at it but you also know if it's not worth your energy or time so a lot of people tire themselves out trying to take you out trying to take other people out just being toxic and then you just step in you know when you need to and hop right back out and i feel like you did that in some situation it's got people floored because they're like what the heck like we didn't expect that person to do this like what's their intentions here da, 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 da. and i actually feel like somebody here is is confused and um because they thought basically that you weren't going to say or do anything um, you are light. Some of you guys are planning on defending yourself in one way or yeah, some of you guys, you are, um, yeah, they, I, I'm here coming out of retirement for something. I don't know. It could be some kind of like, yeah, this could also have something to do with like a workplace situation or a talent or gift or skill. Or again, like you always wanted to go after something in your life and you decided to take a rest or quit for a little bit, then pop out differently. Like that's kind of what I'm sensing. It's almost like you knew that you had to kind of go into a certain mode or transform in order to just grow. I also feel like this could be spiritual. Like you didn't really realize this is what happening. This was what was happening to you, I should say. But yeah, so people are really shocked that, or they're going to be shocked that you're popping out different. I feel like this is also like a future kind of prophecy type of message. Cause it's like, kind of like telling you that you've done this before in the past. So you're definitely going to do it again. And I do feel that there is something coming where people are going to be shocked once again, that you are someone who is completely different than what they expected. I feel like people also think that you're constantly changing and evolving or people think that you're hiding gifts, skills and talents or knowledge. But I also feel like a lot of times behind closed doors, you guys are practicing a lot of things, talents, gifts, skills, learning. It's not that you just you're hiding things from people. It could also be because you wanted to hermit and you came out with a new insight, new information. You learned something new. It's not always that you're being strategic here, but I do feel some of you guys, if you were, then that's shocking people too, that you actually are strategic because I do feel like you are quite indifferent. Like, it's like, if you have to be strategic, it's like you have a plan to defend yourself if you need to. But at the same time, like, you rather not, you know, fight if you don't need to either. But something may have calls for you guys to bring out another side to you or will. So, you know, get ready for that. And I don't see it as a bad message. It's actually, like, a good message here. Choose who you are becoming. Yeah, and I feel for some of you guys, it was like you are met with a choice to be, to react differently 
in a certain situation. I'm also hearing as well, I gave you many chances. Sorry, I had to do this. So I do feel that a lot of you like had the power here and you knew it to do something to somebody or to fight back to somebody and you just were giving them a lot of chances or to let someone go. You know, the death card there too. Well, it's not a death card, but it's like a coffin card. Same difference. So the number 19 could be significant. The month of January. Also, um, the month of September coming up could be significant as well. So I do feel like something could be happening in September or um, you guys are going to really be in your element come this fall. Again, my readings are timeless. So next season, but I do really feel like um, choose who you're becoming. It's saying like you are making a choice to choose differently for yourself, to choose a different path. And when you are met with situations with people that are difficult or you don't know how to react to them, instead of trying to figure it out yourself, I'm getting a sense that you are just going inward and waiting on God, your angels, your intuition to guide you to the right reaction. And I just feel right now you are acting very differently than you usually do. And it's definitely got people kind of confused, scared, even nervous, because it's almost like there are people who have done things against you or said things against you. And now that you're in a different energy, they're kind of worried that you're going to call them out on it or do more or expose them more. So let's see what else we have going on about Rise. Yeah. I feel like you guys are definitely in some sort of rising from the ashes type of vibe here. And I'm never saying you guys were down and out. Like if anything, you've always been this energy, but there's just something about this transformation that's especially wowing people. Um, let's see what else we have going on here. We got courtship. So this has nothing to do with um a relationship that you're in or a relationship that you were in in the past. Or one thing I do want to say too as well is that people might be shocked that uh, you're popping out with a new lover or something like that. Um, or someone's shocked to hear that you have a new lover uh, just because maybe they thought you would be stuck on them. Sudden wealth. Okay. If this all hasn't happened yet, then good things are coming. Because let me tell you right now, 777 seven can be significant. You guys can be seeing that. We got 11. We got um, 411. That's also my number for getting a call out of the blue. 114 as well. I'm seeing um, I'm seeing November or two. The month of April could be significant as well. I'm seeing a lot of like parallels to like the beginning of the year versus like the end of the year. So things could have been happening the beginning of the year, but they didn't come to fruition until the end of the year or plans or things you always wanted to do because you knew it was best to wait for the right place, right people, right timing. Like people may have thought that you kind of like gave up or buried this idea or or just kind of didn't defend yourself or just quit. But in reality, you were just planning your next move or just moving on and leveling up, right? It's just like as simple as that. Um, unexpected income. Wow. Okay. So honestly, you may even shock yourself with what you end up doing next. I'm telling you right now, some, a lot of good stuff is coming in here for you guys. Number 27 can be significant too as well. Thief. High honor. You guys could be exposing somebody for being a thief. 24, 25 could be significant too as well. Number 37. Or just I feel like some of you guys, a lot of years of your life, you felt like was taken from you or energy or money or time because people were constantly stealing your energy or something like it's like almost like this could have been a long time coming that you were building yourself up to be this better version of yourself and people truly thought that you took yourself out of the game or that you've given up or that they defeated you but in reality you have this whole other side to you that you've been kind of like preparing and it's like you almost waited for and I feel like this may not be your plan like this is God's plan right so it's like you may have felt like okay whatever I'll just continue on you know but at the end of the day like all this karma is racking up for these thieves, these people that have done things to you or thought they were successfully doing things to you. And it turns out like, I feel that what they thought about you just isn't the truth. And they also, I also feel like what they expect you to do also didn't happen. I feel again, if people were attacking some aspect of yourself or your life or a career, it's like you actually were meant to do something else. So it really didn't matter. Or I almost hear like a decoy. Like, it's almost like there's an energy here where people really thought they were hurting you and they could have affected you, sure. But what's going to come next is basically they are a catapult to your success, too. It feels as though people thought they were being strategic, but you're actually they're actually part of the plan to make you successful. 
And this could also be something you guys just do very easily because you're alchemist. So it's like someone throws something at you and you're able to maneuver that, fight for it, and, and then end up, you know, learning something from it or going somewhere new and leveling up. Like whenever people think that they get one over on you, they never really do. That's something you really need to know. And even if you feel like they did, it's like karma will come for them and you're going to end up in a place and space without that individual, which is a win of its own. Always when I'm in situations with toxic people and they're trying to come at me or do something to me, I always think the best choice is just, just to get myself out of there. It's like, yeah, it's nice to fight back or have justice, but sometimes people just want your energy, your reaction, and they just want you to just keep going at it with them because that distracts you from actually winning and succeeding. So again, but there are certain time periods where it's like, okay, you're actually in a position to say something and do something and you do that and then you're out, you know? Um, wealthy man. Imprisonment. Someone could be going to jail. Like, that's really what's coming in here. And some of you guys could be sending somebody to jail, too. I mean, all these messages are for a lot of different people. So I really feel like, um, again, like, you're going to be finding out things about people that show you that karma's coming, too. And it's like, you got out of a situation with high honor where someone else is getting out of it, like not as a thief and you know losing money being imprisoned we got wealthy man here so i feel like also something that i'm hearing is that you are going to or do have some very powerful people in your corner you know of course god your angels first of all first of all and foremost you know so i always feel like a lot of times in your journeys you're gonna feel alone you're gonna have to separate yourself from a lot of people you're just gonna have to trust that that's the best thing to do at that time period and that's what you guys did and that successfully transformed you it's like you were able to just let i feel like there's a situation going on that became so messy and just so hard for you to stomach that you decided to just tap out like let go of everyone everything some of you guys just moved you just had to start fresh and um it's really making a difference in you and your energy field and it shocked people that you did that like people thought you'd never leave that area i don't know why but again people just project maybe you thought that too at one point but people just or you, people thought you would never leave blank that job that area that situation that line of work that whatever um but when the time calls for it, that's what you guys do. And I do feel again, you're my lightworkers, my healers. So if the universe, God, your angel says time to go, you're like, okay, we're doing this. We're out. Like, I trust this. And that's what kind of saves you from disaster. So people think that you got a secret side to you that you're hiding. People think you know things that you don't necessarily know. You just know when to move and to get out of something. People like, it's almost like you could sense that the something is not right. And you, and you, before stuff hits the fan, you're out of there. And that's exactly what's happening, what's going on here. And why sometimes you don't see the justice or the karma happen to certain people until you're gone. Because sometimes um, you may get dragged down, down under with it, especially if it's someone close to you or a work situation. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. Like somebody now is going to start to get karma. And some of you guys could have catapulted this too, or it was a big part of that. Like, that you have this whole other side to you. The thing I do want to say as well, which is quite interesting, is that, like, some of you guys are known for something, right? And people are shocked and surprised that you have a whole other life outside of that. You know, there's a lot of people out there who make, like, their career, their whole identity, or, like, nothing wrong with that, right? Or just, like, being a mother, their whole identity, or, again, nothing wrong with that, guys. But this is not the message today is what I'm saying. Like, you're not predictable. Like, even though you could be a mom or a career, or, like, behind closed doors, you can also be um something else you know like some of you guys live like different lifestyles like you know i'm hearing you know business by day like you know business the front party in the back you know like i'm just hearing that funny expression but basically like, it's kind of what it is it's like oh like somebody runs to out and you're like completely different than when they see you at work but it's like you know the importance of playing the roles you need to play in this world I'm all for, like, self-expression, and you guys know I'm Aquarius. So, like, you guys follow me on Instagram, Queen Alice Love. Like, you know, I love speaking my truth, being myself. But there's also a level of, like, appropriateness and professionalism. And, I mean, maybe I'm not the expert on that, but I'm just saying that, like, there's certain people, they're just, like, they don't understand, like, that there's normalcies to react or act in certain environments for a reason, especially when it has to do with making other people feel comfortable or whatever. So the point I'm trying to say is that you guys know how to how to stay in line when you need to you know act a certain way to get where you need to be to not cause a fuss or not to bother people but at the same time when it when it's up to you and you're running the show you could be a whole different person does that make sense like a lot of you guys have leaders within you so people are surprised when you're passive or when you're just like gonna go with the flow like I, I you know like a lot of times too like in my relationships like or my friendships I I'd like to go with whatever everyone else wants to do unless I really don't want to you know like I don't always want to make all the decisions because you know when you're self-employed or when you're constantly always in a decision making energy like it gets tiresome so I feel like again like you guys you mastered like de definitely like 
different aspects of yourself or different even like the masculine the feminine like you you can really play different roles here and people are shocked by that because a lot of times people limit themselves by just saying well this is who i am i can't go after and do these things or this is who i am you know i can't change and you know we have the card at the bottom here choose who choose who you are becoming like the biggest thing is that and i always feel this way it's like people sometimes think that they're just things just are what they are and they can't fix it they can't change it um and it's like for example, like people may be shocked to know that I was really shy, really introverted when I was younger. Well, you guys won't be shocked, but if I'm out and about and I'm like, you know, really trying to be part of a group or trying to accomplish something or make friends, like, of course, I'm going to try to be my best self or try to put myself out there. But when I was younger, that definitely is was something that's really difficult for me. And it still could be difficult because I'm still naturally someone who takes on a lot of energy. You guys know what I'm talking about. So people could see, you know, you in this light where you are putting on a, a certain mask that you need to in order to fit into a certain room and it's not fake it's almost just like you're doing what you need to make other people feel comfortable right because if i were to go into a room and just be sometimes my natural energy what calls me to be which is just like to not look anybody in the eye and and just like uh get out of there as quickly as possible people are gonna think i'm rude or i don't like them so sometimes it requires you to perform a bit to make people feel comfortable, do a good job, to be a good salesperson, to excel your business, right? So that's the point I'm trying to say. You guys may have developed skills that you were weak at, and that's not fake, but there could be people out there that feel like you're strategic or you're fake because you study how to succeed in a way that takes care of you, takes care of your family, makes everyone else around you successful. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but there's people here who have not overcome certain obstacles. So it's like they may be used to seeing you one way, but then you're starting to shine another way. Another thing I do want to say as well too is that my leg words and my heel is you're so used to dimming yourself for other people or not giving your full power. So when you actually step into your power, people are shocked that you have this side to you where you can really gravitate all the energy in the room. But a lot of you guys really don't want to do that all the time. You really just want to be in and out. You get what I'm talking about? So it's like you can also choose to improve certain aspects of yourself. You're not just the cards you were dealt with. And I feel like, you know, you, my people out there, you're meant to show people that we can change, we can transform, we can be whatever we want to be in this world. And it's almost like you are in a state of reinvention. And I feel like what I'm hearing, it's like you're getting another chance to redo and go after something else you want to go after in your life. And um, again, this has nothing to do with this other person, but it may, it may have catapulted you, something that happened with somebody else to show you like, this is what you're made of, you know? Sometimes, like, situations happen, and, um, yeah, they just trigger us into making changes, but it's not like we give this person credit for that or whatever happened here. It's almost just like you start stepping into your power when you're fed up, or you start stepping into power when you just have to disappear for a while and, um, you know, detox all the negativity or people just being, you know, weird, for lack of a better term. But, um, yeah, we got spiritual growth here, and then we have water signs. You guys could be water signs, water placements. As you guys may or may not know, I'm a Cancer rising. That's why um, at times I can be very, very shy. Or again, if you do have water sign placements, um, you know, you could be, depending on your mood, a lot of different types of ways. Um, so yeah, let's see. Spirituality, emotion, intuitive, and compassion. Right. I really feel like there's a duality here of spiritualness, compassion, creativity, but there's also um, an energy of Mars. Go get her. Go get it. And this like combination is sometimes um, unexpected from people um, but I do feel like you could be a spiritual go-getter you could still be spiritual and you could be feisty like you know that could shock people and I used to talk about this a little bit more in the past when I first started like you know in no ways am I a, like a conventional like spiritual person like I just feel like um, you know I happen to have these gifts but I'm still like a regular person in my eyes like if you guys met me out or whatever or I do things and and I like to party and I, I like to enjoy my life like I don't always feel like I need to be playing a, a role of a stereotypical person that spe teaches spirituality or whatever it is, right? And I feel that, um, you know, automatically, like, it's like, I meet people and I'm like, oh, I do this or whatever. And they're like, oh, the I'm not even gonna throw things out there because like, it, it's just not, I'm, because I'm not throwing anyone under the bus here. This is just me, right? But you guys understand what I'm saying. Someone could go to you and be like, oh, oh, you're, you're a whatever job you have and start saying stereotypes based upon that job you know but that's not always the case for everybody so just because i do spirituality doesn't mean i do all these other things that people associate with that line of work so it's like i have all other sides to me that don't have anything to do with spirituality like i barely talk about it you know outside of work like this is my place to to come back with everything that i've gathered outside of you know that outside in the real world you know and come back to you and start talking to you guys but i don't talk to people the way i talk to you guys because they wouldn't get what i was saying anyway they think i'm weird sometimes when it calls for it 
you know? Because so I feel like you guys a lot like myself, you don't always talk about your spiritual side or what you know or come at people at your full capacity because there's no point of doing that unless you really get into deep with somebody and you feel called to do it. And some of you guys, it's the opposite. Like, like you know, you have this job that's like not spiritual at all. People are shocked that you have this other side of you that's deep, that's complex, that's emotional. And some of you guys are known for being spiritual and chill. So when someone messes with you, they're they're like, oh my gosh, like you just have, you have this side who scares me, you know? And it's like, you yeah, you can be spiritual and you can also be, uh, have a side of you that scares people. Like all those things are true, you know? Like I feel like sometimes people just base things off of stereotypes or what they see before. And, um... I feel like for the individual that I was zeroing in on, whoever this was in your past, like they're fully aware that you're multidimensional, you're unpredictable. Hence why your relationship was probably always rocky because they were always trying to be like one step ahead of you um, or trying to figure you out. And it's like, if people are just trying to figure you out and predict your next move in order to have a place in your life, they're not the right people for you because you're going to move according to god's plan your intuition and that's always up in the air i always say this too like yes things are faded but we have free will so someone could be a part of your life and then mess up and then your intuition says time to go and you dip out of there and people are like never thought you'd do that thought we were friends thought we were lovers thought we were working together and you're like yeah but you know i saw something i didn't like i felt it and i'm out and that's the important part of actively being someone who is intuitive to exercise those gifts those talents those skills and teach other people that that's how you navigate the world that's how you truly outsmart people not trying to outsmart them but by moving intuitively. So when they start moving funny plotting and planning, you're out of there. And that's exactly what's going on here. In many situations, and there are great times where people, yes, try to say or do things to hurt you. And you're just like, okay, that's weird, but I'm out of here. You know, I'm not going back and forth with this. I don't need clarity. I don't need validation. And people are operating in different levels and experiences. So, you know, good luck to them. We got the lovers card here. Okay. That card has a little nudity on it. So I'm not gonna show you guys, but um let's see what else we have here. We have the ten sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm hearing like something about, like something about that expression like all oh, is something in love and war or something. I don't know what the expression is, but something about love and war. What about it? Yeah, it's like are we lovers or are we at war? Like that's what I'm hearing. Like Cuz I feel like there's somebody here who's confused basically. Um it's like they're taking however you reacted or didn't react in the way they expected as a rejection as you winning. And they really don't like that. <laughs> they see you as someone who's stable, who's happy, whose opportunities are coming towards you. And things are not going so well from this person. I really feel as well, like, you know, when it comes to certain people who are egotistical, narcissistic, you know, whatever, arrogant, whatever you want to say, right? They always have their own fatal flaw that kind of brings them down anyway. And I think that that's kind of what's going on here. Like, somebody here has a really fatal flaw. It's an immaturity and impulsivity that is causing their demise right now. And this may or may not have anything to do with you guys, but this person is also thinking about you because they feel like you've defeated them in one way or another. But I also feel like they may not be in a good place right now either. Why? What do they want? Ownership. Okay. You are being helped. Commitment. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, like this person wanted to leave you out in the cold, but of course that's not going to happen. There's always someone that steps in and helps you. And I always tell you guys this too, like don't hold on to relationships with people because you feel like no one else can help you with that. Especially these people are like, using that over your head or manipulation. There's always going to be someone else stepping in to help you and guide you if that relationship is truly toxic, right? Because sometimes like we're meant to work it out with certain people and despite our differences, you know? And, um, you know, when you're not sure about that, you know, do a prayer, wait on it, you know, because if someone is truly helping you out, sometimes it's okay to just, you know, bite your tongue a little bit. But when someone is truly being manipulative, oh, you want this and dangling it over your head, there's someone else that will give it to you gleefully, happily, because you guys are that type of person too. So what I'm sensing is that someone thinks you outsmarted them because you waited until you had help to leave it's almost like funny it's gonna be like a boss who like is so surprised you waited to get another job to leave the company well and then you were playing nice the rest of the time like like it's almost like they thought that you know you were finally understanding with like that you got to stay in your place and just accept things the way they are and you're like oh bet okay let me keep my mouth shut and find a new job like you decided to just move silently until you found your way out of there so um 
And there is like an importance in that. I feel sometimes, you know, I tell people like, you know, if you're in a situation you don't like, but someone has control over you or is a means for you to survive, make sure you plan and don't do anything impulsively. Maybe some of you guys, it's how you left a relationship or some of you guys, like it's how you um, basically got out of a, a, a something with somebody basically like had some sort of skill that you, that they are something you needed, right? Or job or whatever, right? You guys get the point here. Also, I feel like this thing I do with a relationship. It's like someone was, Someone was dangling like marriage over your head, never giving it to you or commitment over your head or just dangling something that they knew that you wanted or they thought they knew that you wanted. Some of you guys is a game here where, you know, you weren't even with this person, but they were just playing games to see how you would react to try to see if you like them. So just asking you, which is so immature, but it's like, okay, you want to play these games? You just popped out with someone who committed to you. Like they thought like, okay, yeah, at least like, you know, this person is hurt by me da, 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 or I won that, but now you're popping out like with everything you wanted or you will so that's kind of a sign here if you did leave something behind that was the first slam to this person's ego that they didn't expect you to do and the second slam is that um basically you know you're being helped like i really feel like um people don't suspect that you're being helped by god your angels the universe but um a lot of times people are wondering like how are you getting like these opportunities or how are things happening for you and it's just because guys always making sure you guys are taken care of that after every painful ending there's something there to get you through or an idea like even if it's you had to do it on your own like divinely orchestrated ideas come to you or you're being pushed to know how to cover yourself for when that other season kind of dies out you know or something doesn't go right like you have some sort of pathway to take and that's why it's so important to be in your spiritual energy and think positively and just be you know away from negative energies of people panicking and this and that so you can find your your center and like be like okay this is what i'm going to do next and i think you guys had a lot of those experiences then that what makes you such a powerful leader and i think a lot of these experiences did happen on your own and that's why people are so shocked that you can handle situations so well but you know you've gone through it but i feel that um yeah, someone here needs to take ownership instead of playing games here. Ownership on how they acted is how they lost you. And I feel like you're just committed, again, to your spiritual growth. And that's what shocks people. It's very different than what a lot of people have experienced. You're not committed to your ego. You're not committed to your life looking a certain way. You're committed to your path, what you came here to do. And if that calls for a change, no matter how much you are attached to whatever else is around you, you're going to make that change. I feel like, yeah, you, you definitely have help here or help coming. I feel like a lot of you guys have made some solid, loyal partnerships and friendships um, or some sort of work situation where people do have your back. So it's like a lot of times these chasey people, they don't have that. They have people around them for the wrong reasons, for manipulation, for control. So yeah, some of my people out there, you really are taking down somebody here or something here. And you have people helping you, the right people helping you. And even if you didn't, you have God and your angels helping you, doesn't matter. It's just um, you're safely getting away from a situation. And um, yeah, your priorities were always in the right place. I feel like sometimes like people don't understand the way you move, but some of you guys can just trust if you wait and you're patient and wait out a certain situation. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stuttering. Situation, something better will come. And again, that's trusting spirituality. That's not always logical to a lot of people, but um, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Like everything worked out or will work out for you. Acceptance. Integrity. Yeah, having integrity doesn't always make you win initially, but it will make you win long term and it will win the respect and the love of the people around you. Um, yeah, this whole time you were detaching from something slowly, but I feel like you were not telling anybody this or it was also something you could have been going through without even realizing it. And I feel that somebody here lets you slip away because they were too busy to be in their ego and they didn't even notice that you were detaching from them or that they didn't really have a say in anything that you had going on. They lost control, I'm hearing. So yeah, somebody here is completely shocked at this other side of you that they never had control over. I feel, again, because you are emotional and caring people, and sometimes this happens, when you have a big heart, you do try to come at people genuinely, and you still try to talk things out with people in a genuine way, or you show people your vulnerabilities and stuff, and people sometimes who are toxic are like, okay, yeah, I got them right where I want them, they care about me, da da da, -da. or oh, they have a big heart, they're not gonna, they're not gonna ever retaliate, or they're not gonna ever stand up for themselves, but they're never gonna leave, but you can have two sides of you, you could be you could be compassionate and loving and all for somebody and then you could switch into something else if you really need to and i really feel like you may have switched loyalties or switched sides or just got out of a situation and you wanted to support whatever situation 
this was or person or maybe you never did maybe you were a support at one point who knows or maybe who cares it doesn't matter the situation it just matters that this person thought they could manipulate because that's just how they go about things and if it's a relationship thing that's why probably things didn't work out because you don't want to be manipulated you're trying to come at someone genuinely Saturn, feel restricted, experience struggle, learn hard work, and patience. Uh, yeah, so you guys were also maybe learning some Saturn lessons through all of this. Like, everything struggle that you've gone through is something that will make it easy for you guys when you're out of it. Like, I feel that you went through so many hard lessons that, like, a lot of things are going to feel easier from now on. And not only that, it's, like, it's easy for you guys to just outsmart or move away from situations because you've been there, you've done it before. And I feel that a lot of times you guys know the main way to really win is to not play anyone's game at all and tap out. You know, it's like, this is really not a game I want to play. And um, I really feel that if people are forcing you into a situation where you have to win, where you have to succeed, you're going to do that. And no matter what it takes, but you're going to do it in a way where your intuition is guiding you to. And I feel that it's like somebody here tired themselves out trying to play a game that you never really wanted to play with them. And not only that, it turns out that during all this time period, you were actually focusing and working on yourself and moving in a new direction and building yourself up away from this situation. So this could be job, work, relationship. And this could have been things happening that you guys didn't even realize because during all of it, maybe you were trying to be good or make peace or try find a solution. And that's how you know, okay, well, I tried everything in my power. Now I got to just take the, take the, um, the best way out of here. Uh, we got North Node. And then we have Pisces, intimacy and compassion. Yeah, I feel like with the North of Pisces, some of you guys may have that. But what I'm seeing here is that like you're moving towards like situations where people have the same amount of compassion for you that you have for them. And I feel like there's a situation again where someone just didn't have compassion, not only not only for you, but not not just for not not, not only not for you, but for other side, if that makes sense. Woo. Mercury retrograde is still kicking my butt. <laughs> A lot of things could have been coming out during Saturn retrograde, Mercury retrograde. Saturn retrograde is still going on for a couple months, so you're still going to see a lot of this come out. Again, this means are timeless, but I feel like the fall time is going to be a great time period for you guys or the next couple months, depending on when you get to this message. Conjunction and household. Yeah, look at this. Individuality, a union, merging together, coming together, self-image, approach to life. There's something about, like, two sides of yourself are, like, coming together two different aspects of yourself coming together the sides of you that the talents the gifts the skills you could be bringing to the forefront um this could be a physical transformation you're going through this could be um you calling back your power and um yeah just basically just transforming i also feel as well there could be a partnership in the future coming in that's divinely orchestrated intuition trust patience yep you guys are Exhibiting all of that. Investigation, bravery, a, pro bravery, a, pro a pioneering spirit. Aries, energy coming through. Cancer. So we guys have cancer energy too in your chart. The thing I do want to say as well is that there is a tough love energy in here. So it's like, yeah, it could be loving and nurturing and caring, but I feel like you guys really tap out and learning how to tap out your empathy towards people when you know that they can actually actively make a change or be better. Like, um, I'm telling you right now, people have never experienced this level of like caring, but also like detachment. And I feel like this is a spiritual thing that people master. And it's not always easy, especially when someone is tugging at your heartstrings or, you know, you have feelings for them or you care about them and they're putting themselves in a bad position. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to make them, they have to go through it and then come back to you when they're ready or or you have to step away from them forever, whatever, whatever the situation is. I don't ever want to say forever because people can always change and stuff, but like Jupiter, grow and expand. Like there's people here really think that there's some sort of mastermind and you, and you got them shook, got them complex because you got another side of you that was never playing along at all. You're just happy to be there if everyone's getting along and happy. But if somebody ends up doing something you don't like you're like yeah i'm gonna say something your luck is improving you're growing you're expanding so let's get the last message about like whatever this person is that lacks integrity you're committed to your vision another thing as well a lot of people who are kind of like greedy or narcissistic it's like their goals could be so shallow like fame fortune money but like when you have a vision from god it's like kind of fueled by like wanting to 
like, yeah, you can still want success, but it's like you want to be seen and noticed that you can help people or get your message out or um, share your art with the world that uplifts people or you want to put yourself out there so that you can uh, take care of your family or or make enough money to get yourself out of bad situation. Like your vision, like, or, like are, are purposeful, you know, like, but some people don't really have vision. They just have like a black hole they're trying to fill in their heart and like they operate out of that and it doesn't really like, it's like a, it never really, they're never really fulfilled and never satisfied. And that's why like, if they keep going in that direction, they're never going to change. So, um, some of you guys were expecting maybe someone to change, but how are they going to change without correcting or without you out of their life? Especially if you were helping this person or were rooting for them. It's a past life connection. Well, that explains the, the compassion you have towards this person. A lot of guys are like, I don't even know why I'm compassionate towards this person. Because they don't deserve it. You make them laugh. This is coming out so much too in my Patreon though. You guys are my collective. Well, you got jokes over here? Funny. But yeah, I just feel like, again, even when people want to hate you, they just remember you with such a high light, how much fun they had. Like, you connected to their, their inner child. It's like, sometimes people are really are the villain, but they do have a side of them where it's like, like, you, you connect to that side of them that they could have been if they didn't choose the path they chose or chose to be the way that they chose. They are draining. Well, yeah. I really feel like this person was purposely latching onto you, trying to drain your energy, and... And now that, like, they are going downhill, like, there's really nothing they can do about it. Like, um, they are hating. Okay, well, nice. They are possessive. They are codependent. See, it's like they never mastered any of these things they needed to work on. So, it's like, you're just going to be sailing past them. Spiritually. Actually, some of you guys are going to get a boat, a yacht, and just cruise away. Um, you are a good friend to them. Yeah, well, you tried. They are arrogant. Too much drama. The sad part in a lot of these situations is that you guys try to help these people and they're trying to scheme and scam and manipulate. It's like, what the hell is the matter with you? Really? They are bad influence. They want to get closer to you. Like, it's like this person is still trying to figure out a way to get closer to you it's like it's game over like even if you did you already see everything for what it is like there is just some final blow that like made you guys realize that this wasn't it you know you had to get out of there the, the, doesn't matter what the situation is um you know or there was a final blow that you guys said or did that made them realize oh shit this person's actually serious right now because i've never seen them act like this never seen them stand up for themselves like this never seen them walk out like this or they got someone else helping them now they don't need me anymore da, da, da. and again i feel like regardless if this person did help you with something or not them holding it over your head ended up backfiring on them because you would have loved and cared for them regardless if they were helping you with things but then you only started to tolerate them because maybe they had like like i said like they had something you needed or you know so we got a situation with unfortunately like manipulative uh family member or friends or something that was helping you but or offered to help you but then or, or did have some positive qualities but it wasn't anything that you can live without basically it's like if someone offer you something like you could take it sure because you think that they care about you but then if they hold it over your head you're like okay i'm out of here like I, i'd rather you know find my own way than be indebted to somebody who treats you badly i think I, yeah i was reading the bible and one of the proverbs was like that it's like if you lend someone money there you're gonna be their slave and also said like lending to i mean being generous to other people is like um lending to god and he'll give back to you in other ways so always think about that too when like people steal from you or take from you it's like god will give it back to you in other ways too so don't expect to go back and forth and get justice in places sometimes where you can't sometimes if you do have the power to do it go for it right now is what i'm seeing that could be happening too for some of you guys uh, but either way, justice coming in no matter what way is fit. And if you have no no control over it, then just best we know that it's coming a different different way, okay? Um, but yeah, basically, um, too much drama. Mm -hmm. This person causes so much drama. They're going to be their own demise, you know? They are their own demise. So I feel like that could also be why maybe they're feeling especially vulnerable or unstable right now. I feel for some of you, with you leaving the situation, you have the power to take something with you. Does that make sense? Like, that this person needs? Or I also feel as well that for a lot of you guys, like, this person doesn't know what to do next with their life and you could offer them the guidance that they need or something like that, you know?
this person could have done the opposite too withheld you help even though you would done even though you helped them like a lot of things are going on here so much, it, it all comes from the fact that this person's like competitive with you trust issues they have their own trust issues they feel like they can't trust anybody they want to get to know you better this person still wants to figure you out and understand you because they see you as like a masterful game player and they're like oh like this person does know what they're doing like and they underestimated you just for the fact that you're a good person but it's also the same reason why this person let you in their life too because they thought you being a good and great person would like benefit them somehow and they can take from you somehow or learn from you somehow because you guys are still talented gifted and skillful right but all end up backfiring because you're just not one to be messed with and i think that people are seeing that now more than ever sometimes people just have their own arrogance where they don't believe that somebody really has the power to really shift their life around but you guys really do have the power here to invoke the karma that people need whether it's energetically or again you're in a position of power to do so they are jealous jealous of your power and this person's getting weaker and weaker because um well number one you're pulling back your energy and number two yeah, if they tried to build off of your energy or build off of your back or your methods or your things, like they could, it could have worked for a minute or yeah, build off of your energy is what I'm hearing. Maybe someone did like try to use you as like a way to catapult themselves or launch their career or something like that. But it's just like, I see it like kind of like this, they're bungee going up and then what goes up must come down, you know? And whereas like your energy is like a stable climb. So it's like, kind of like, you can see this person like looking like they're soaring past you, but they're going to go wait right back down because you can't jump off someone else's back, especially if, and another thing as well, it's like, if they come back down, this is a metaphor guys, but you guys would say if they come back down, you're not going to be allowing them to jump off of you. And no one else has that power and energy or skill or talent to launch them back up again. Like no one else has that. They got people around them, maybe yes people, scared people, confused people manipulate people or people just like them they but like what, what happens to a bunch of energies that are like that co come together nothing good because they all are arrogant and competing with each other so that's glad what i'm seeing here they had someone who genuinely wanted them to win and succeed and i feel like if this is an enemy or a work enemy then if they didn't do all these things to you you would have genuinely been them friend or wanted them to succeed or you even maybe put your pride aside and try to be cool with them but then like they started hitting you harder because I guess basically every time you start coming up in one way or another, they see it as a threat. Um, so guys, if is if it is a relationship, it's crazy that this person wants to use you and compete with you, but also feels like they own you and possess you. It's like they can't have it all. They admire you. Well, that's funny, but it's true. They think you can pull anybody. And I think as well, some of you guys is a controlling person because like they also know that you can get somebody way higher level than them, you know? And I'm not even saying this person ever got up higher than you, but I feel like it's kind of just metaphorical. Maybe some of you guys, it's like material or whatever it is. It's like they, their ego, you know, like bringing you down makes them feel like they're going up, you know, but like if you're not there anymore, then how can they have something else? It's like kind of like when you're not there, it's like harder for them because they don't have your energy. Yeah, it's really your energy, guys. It's just, that's it. But the main message here was that this person was shocked and people are constantly shocked that you have another side to you. And I really feel that another side to you is multidimensional. It's a side to you that can pull anybody, can do anything you came here to do, can literally outsmart people, can get back or get even if you really needed to or wanted to, can walk away easily if you needed to, is willing to go through the pain of separation to come out on top is willing to leave them behind if you need to, is willing to find somebody else, something else, if you need to, you know? You know the facts of the matter is that you're not meant to be putting up with BS, and um, that's pretty much it. And I feel like, again, this person could have their own problems and issues with you. They could have talked it out with you, and they could have resolved these things better, but they're bad at confrontation too. That's another thing as well, because I feel like people who undermine people, who are sneaky, who are even jabby at people, um, when it comes down to it, like, I feel like face to face, this person fears you. And that's why they act the way they do, or talk to you a certain way, or run away even. Some of you guys, this is a relationship or a love connection, run away from you. They think you're intelligent. Well, we know that. They are super jealous of you. Look, they're jealous, they're jealous of you, they're jealous of your options. 
in life, the paths you take, they feel like, again, like opportunities just fall into your lap, but it's like, it's really not like that. I really think you guys are just out here being a genuine good person, making connections and, and things are just flowing the right way because of the way you impact people in such a positive light. And you're always going to be taken care of. They want to hang out <laughs> as if they're speaking highly of you. Oh, I feel like there's other people around this person or people are speaking highly of you. People always want to be around you. Whereas people don't really want to be around this person. They may just want to be around them because they had something going for them that a skill or talent or something, but it's like, or they were successful in some regard or they were, you know, but eventually they're going to lose a lot of positive things in their life because of this energy. And maybe other people are replaceable to this person, but you're not. You're not for sure. And now they're going to get karma. I feel like the reason why they've gotten as far as they did is because they were able to always find replacements. But for people that they have screwed over in the past, but you brought in an energy, you brought in some kind of talent or gift or skill or knowledge that they cannot find elsewhere. Or some of you guys that just plain are in love with you despite all this <laughs> mess going on here. And um, you're irreplaceable. They need help with something. And guess who's, guess who's going to help them? Not you. Guess who can help them? Nobody. They better get on their knees and start praying. They love you. I told you guys. If they can, love. They want to be friends forever. They lost a chance to that. They feel safe around you. I'm telling you right now, it's like, now that, I feel like it's like, things are turning on them. And now that, you know, people are coming towards them with their pitchforks and, and their knives and everything because the truth is coming out. Or, you know, if this person tried to play you and run to something else or whatever it's like those people are turning on them now and it's like you were the person that that would have helped them with this you know some of you guys it is spiritual too because this person like was working with dark stuff conjuring up god knows what and uh, even attacking you with it and now that they didn't now that like you know they really didn't know what they were doing and or if they're making i'm telling you right now some people do some dumb stuff and of course like if you are feeding negative energies it just wants more and more and more you know so it's like this person now wants you to save them from that and it's like you were the one conjuring that stuff up that has nothing to do with me and again this is metaphorical too guys for the negative energy but i actually feel like some of you guys are dealing with some some real some real characters here they will reach out soon you're better off without them just a reminder i'm feeling right now it's either someone that was constantly attacking you spiritually mentally emotionally physically but also was obsessed with you also loved you thought that they could outsmart you they thought they can like they, they wanted to keep you around for their benefit, but then they may have discarded you because they realized they couldn't control you or they got too competitive or jealous of you and they just couldn't have you around or they thought you would figure them out and you started to figure them out. That's why they could have discarded you, but they kept probably orbiting your energy or coming in and out or some of you guys, you know, they, they ended things with you just to one up you, but they didn't, they wanted you to chase them. Like this person was constantly just trying to seek your validation and approval deep down. They don't feel good enough around you. They know that you know that they ain't they ain't crap no matter what level in the world they may think that they are at they are back to square one or headed back to square one it's almost like this person if they would came if they went from a million if they went from a millionaire they'll go from a million in debt or if they went from like free financially free they'll go to, to, to being in jail like it's like if they were having a hundred thousand followers they're gonna have a hundred thousand haters you know like hundred like they're gonna get canceled i don't know just like kind of like the, the the polarity of like what i'm seeing here of what's going on here and i'm not wishing upon anybody i'm just saying that like what goes around comes around and actually all this energy could have already been happening like although they were succeeding they were having legal problems or although they were um they did move on with someone new it was like their the, that relationship was toxic and, and there's cheating and lying it's like although you know they may have um uh what's the word um gotten popular like most of the people around them like don't actually really like them they're, they're just there for shallow reasons you know and it's like they're just very ingenuine with the way they move so no you don't want to be their friend no it, absolutely not and it's like they're still very scared of you and there are sides of you that you still haven't shown this person. And believe me, you don't want to be around this person when you're really about to pop off as all these things that you are being called to be. You're about to do something even bigger and guess what? They're not going to have a part of it. 
it's completely out of your realm. It, it's completely out of your element. Actually, this person asking you, hey, can I be a part of this? And you're like, sorry, you're not qualified for the job. Sorry. Like, and honestly, some of you guys, it is like, they want to get back together. You're like, Pfft. Yeah, okay, why would I get back together with you when I'm with the real deal here? Like, I'm with the real emperor, not, like, you know, whatever the heck this is. So, yeah. Some of you guys never really wanted to be with this person. You just liked helping them out, their friend, whatever. The, the situations vary, but it could be a friend or family member for some of you, unfortunately. Again, it doesn't mean for some of you guys, you know, cut off your family members. or You know, I don't really suggest that, especially because it could cause a lot more. But you have your own situation, especially if this person has done unspeakable things, you know, but... I'm saying that, like, boundaries and keep to yourself the way you're moving if you are forced in an environment with this person because you are going to see their downfall. I and mean, you might want to step away from it because you might feel sorry for them because you got a big heart. Main female. Yeah, I see that, like, this person kind of saw you as this main person that can really kind of help them or save them or guide them or get them out of things deep down but their own arrogance destroyed their relationship with you and the other side to you this person to see is like when things are really picking up and they're going downhill they're like gonna be like save me help me and i see like this girl just sta standing there like staring at her like are you for real right now like you think you think i'm gonna help you like you know like she kind of has like this ick face on her like you know I don't know. I feel like that's kind of it. Like, they're going to be shocked at your coldness, at your lack of empathy. I mean, again, that, that Lily Allen song when she says, like, when I, at first, when I see you cry, it makes me smile. Like, some of you guys straight up, straight up laughing. I know it's terrible, but it's like, okay, we can, I'm not suggesting it, but we can, we can laugh a little bit. Yeah, you guys are mature, you're official, you're respected. Again, if this is a relationship thing, like, you're, you know, never to, like, if you expect better, you're going to find that, basically. It's like, what you expect in a person, you're going to get that. You're going to find that. Like, so if this is an ex, like, or a past lover, like, you know exactly what you don't want now. Another thing as well, I feel like you guys just naturally shy away from, are going to shy away from this person because they affect your health, your mental health, your energy field. Like, it's just not even going to be comfortable for you to be, even be around them. So it's just not even going to be a question in your mind. Like, you know. It's like, even if this person did humble themselves down, like, and ch try to change and be better, I just don't think you'd ever trust them, like, seeing the way that they move. So... Yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Very interesting message today. Like, someone is definitely shocked that you've got this cold side to you that basically is merc merciless. <laughs> and I feel like it came from all these energy of caring and caring and caring and, and being compassionate. Or this person constantly putting you into attack and they gave you no choice. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a cornered dog is going to bite, you know. And I'm kind of seeing that. Like, like, what did they expect you to do? Just lay over and... and and die like no that's not gonna happen no definitely not and i'm seeing this collaboration card something is really telling me that you're getting help people are coming around you like it's like the number like you're gonna have strength in numbers a lot of you guys are trying to make a change in the world or really come against some something that is part of your purpose and i see you laughing at somebody really trying to come and ask you. i'm really laughing about this guys it's actually kind of funny it's like what the hell you why would i help you you're you stand for exactly what like i am against like and i gave you a chance to like 
to switch sides. You know, I gave you a chance to see differently. I gave you a chance uh, for, for you know, to continue or whatever this was but i think you guys accepted that this person um needs detachment i feel like you it's not that you're hold anger like you could forgive this person you know but it's like you don't forget that's exactly what it was you guys could have forgiven this person and been cool with them but you didn't forget so once they slighted you again okay now now it's now you're that's it you know what i mean um I'll tell you right now, somebody here is afraid that you're going to, you're going to put them in jail. Like what this person do to you guys? I don't think you're going to do any of that, but I don't know. I just feel that like, again, like people like feel like they, in the moment they got away with something, but it's like at the same time, because they're, they have guilt and because they know that you are who you are, you're smart, you have receipts, um, you got people on in your corner. You just say the word, you know, that, that's what I'm hearing. And, and people, certain people will, will do some, I really feel like a lot of you guys do have a lot of people who support you and listen to you and they're afraid you're going to like expose them or something like that, <laughs> which is not even your style. Honestly, honestly, um, the funny thing I see about all this is that the way this person, um, feels so inferior to you is that exactly because of that's exactly what it is. It's like, you wouldn't even expose this person or mention them to anybody because you're embarrassed that you even knew them. <laughs> you're embarrassed of this person's actions. You're embarrassed of who they are. You're embarrassed associating with them. You weren't sparing them because you cared about them. You were sparing them because you didn't even want to get involved. It was below you to even associate. That's kind of like the vibe I'm getting here. Like you just <laughs> wanted to get out of there. But again, your situation does vary, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. You are light. You are rising. I really feel like, again, you guys are rising from the ashes right now. Things are going to be going well for you. Don't stress it. Change. Yeah, and I really feel like there's an energy here as well that some people may have the impression or thought you were privileged, but you're someone who's really dedicated to changing and growing. And anything that you guys have achieved in life is because of that, regardless of your circumstances of where you started off. And again, I, and I feel like it could be uh, like both ways. Like some of you guys, even if you do come from some sort of privilege, you're not using that to your advantage. If anything, you're someone who was willing to challenge yourself and to put yourself out of your comfort zone and, and, and you're humble and stuff like I really feel like this other side of you people are shocked at like if you do appear privileged that, that you're not or that you are privileged and you don't act like it at all like people are learning things about you I really feel like this person whoever they are they could even be trying to search you up and get dirt on you and they find out how much of an upstanding citizen you are and then they're like dang like if they do the same thing to me they can really expose me and I really feel like um maybe you guys are about to do that I don't know have you back background check this person I don't even think you guys really want to but it's just funny you know um Thirty-two could be significant to as well. It could be ages. I'm seeing twenty-one, um, nineteen again. I'm seeing number one, number nine, January again. January ninth could be significant. Um, I'm seeing um, January second too as well, or February, the month of February, March. But yeah, the age thirty-two is coming in, or twenty-three. I really feel also that if this is a feminine energy, like they feel the kind of despair over the fact that like you won't help them anymore or you won't give them advice anymore because they kind of know deep down like you do have some knowledge here. I really feel like if it's a feminine energy, their love life is especially garbage. Like, I don't know, especially if like they've done shicey things to you. Um, as I'm seeing that because like the main male and despair, like it's like whoever this person is, they feel like, especially if it's a feminine energy, they feel like... um. No one ever looks at them like the like like they're no one's first choice in, in terms of love. And it's because they're not really radiating a loving energy, are they? You know? And it's karma. And I also feel that um this person um could be a bit of like a pick me, you know? <laughs> I don't know, just like four words command. And I do feel like if it's a masculine energy, like they're realizing, especially if it's someone you dated, that 
you know, you're, you're no longer, yeah, your name's no longer in my mouth. You're the one I'm no longer thinking about. Yeah, this person's like, damn, I'm no longer the main person in this person's life. And I also feel that even if it's a parent figure or, um, uh, even if it's like, uh, someone you work with male or female, it's like, yeah, you were like the main person, probably this person like wanted to go to or trust in like helping fix situations around them. Or yeah, like they missed, missed, um, what's the word? They took your loyalty for granted, basically. And I do feel like there's some kind of realization in maturing through this energy. I also feel like somebody here could have made you the enemy when it really was somebody else here. Expectation. Like, I feel like you did expect this person, or maybe you didn't expect this person to be so toxic, but they were. Or maybe you do expect this person to change or grow. But I feel like with the with the judging energy here, it's like, let leave, leave that to the courts of, of God, basically. That's what I'm seeing. Like, you know, this situation, give it to God, because it's like, there's so much going on here, not even involving you and them, that, like, they need to take it up with the courts, the higher courts. You know, either that's the actual courts or the spiritual courts. Like, give it to them. Because let me tell you one thing. You're not the only person who's trying to get some justice here from this person there's a lot get in line is what i'm hearing you may just been a main character here in this person's um downfall you know there's the villain a lot of people's stories that's why when things start to come out about this person, a lot of people may have gravitated towards you, especially if they knew people you knew or whatever, or more stuff is about to come out. 34 could be significant too. Number four, shit. A lot of stability um, and growth came out of you guys um, going through a lot of situations you went through. And I'm telling you right now, like, a new love could be coming in if you're single. I really think you guys went through a huge transformation. You guys could be known as a bit of like a loner or a lone wolf. So to have all these people backing you up could be quite shocking to this individual another thing i want to say too as well and you guys might relate to this but like a lot of times like i prefer to go out it alone it's just because it helps me focus my energy but it doesn't mean that i don't have people that i can ask for for help or stuff sometimes some of us just you know just we're independent like that you know um or prefer to just operate in your own realm right and i feel like a lot of you guys like that too like just because you work alone or you prefer to be alone or you're not always around a lot of friends doesn't mean you don't have a lot of friends or supporters or people that would that would come in and help you out with things i think you guys are very well connected more than you think or god is going to hand you certain people that are just going to help you get the justice you need or get, get go towards whatever it is that you're doing next past life connection oh my god you inspire them to change they want to impress you they want to be friends forever Okay, last thing I really do want to say is the funniest part of all of this is that now all these things are coming out. The fact that there is other people coming after this person, that there's so much more to this person or situation that you know, they don't want you to know all this. You want to know why? Because um, they want you to see them in a highlight. They want you to see them at a different level. So now that you have shown that you don't see them in a highlight at all and you're never going to really change your mind about that, they're, they want to change because they want to show you that you're wrong about them. But why don't they just change to just be a better person? But, I mean, at least it's one step in the right direction. They want to be better because they know that you know that they ain't it. And also, something you may have said or suggested, whether it was recently in the past, whenever this happened, whatever, kind of alluded to the fact that you knew more and you had more information than you even revealed. Or that you were in some sort of plan or alliances that you didn't speak of. Something like that. Or just that the universe got your back. Because somehow you always end up on top here. So, or you end up just seemingly just in a safe space for you. And, um, yeah, again, you don't move the same way as a person because your intentions are not the same as them. You're not in it for um, the things that they're in it for. So, even if you 
somehow found yourself in the same realm as this person, workspace, environment, networking with them, um, well, friendship, friend group, um, whatever you have going on. It don't mean you're the same. It means that there's a past life connection here and there's a lesson here. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Um, I definitely feel this relates to the last message where I was saying that you're destined to take someone down. This could be related to this person for sure. Um, but I also feel like this is just a sign that you guys constantly are shocking people with the fact that you got these gifts and you just move in the way that God directs you to and continue on the way you're going. I know sometimes it could be quite confusing or sometimes you have to just sit there and take it or be silent or be patient when um, in the midst of um, injustice. But the best thing you can always do is pull yourself back, level yourself up and not even focus on these people because success really is the greatest revenge, especially when it comes from you just going out there doing what God puts you on this planet to do. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me an hour and 15 minutes. I want you guys to comment below if you made it to the end and give me a thumbs up. I am getting the justice that I deserve. And yeah, and um, I want you guys to also comment below. I have many gifts and talents I have yet to show the world. Okay, so I love that for you guys. But anyway, I'll see you guys all next time. And I can't wait to see what you guys pop out and do next. All right, bye guys.